a development proposed for State Street that would wipe out existing businesses. New information out of an overnight meeting on the topic. Also, Dr. Ajay Sethi is with us this morning to answer the latest on the COVID pandemic. And we're tracking our next chance for snow moving into the picture as early as this afternoon. We're going to break down the latest. Good Thursday morning, everybody. Thanks for waking up with us. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Leah Lynchide. And I'm McKenna Alexander. Chris Stanford has the day off. We start with continuing coverage this morning. Members of Madison's Urban Design Commission are voicing concerns over a proposal to demolish three buildings on State Street. The demolition would lead to a new five-story mixed-use development. Property owner J.D. McCormick presented their plan during a meeting with the commission last night. They hope to put up a two-story restaurant plus, left, plus roughly 20 studios and one bedroom apartments. Small businesses in the space voice their concerns. I think it's hard to uh, let go of the thought of small commercial spaces um, that might be diverse and might be owned um, by not large uh, teams of people. Members of the commission also discussed the scale of the building compared to structures around it on state. The planning of straight, State Street and, and saying that four stories is an appropriate height. Um, change is really hard. Those old buildings have been there a long time and, and you, you, we've gotten used to seeing them there, but um, there's some potential there to, to bring a lot more activity and uh, a lot more vibrancy on, on this block. We've talked to a number of small businesses who would be impacted. On Tuesday, our Brad Hamilton spoke with B-Side Records owner Stephen Manley. That whole story can be found over on Channel3000.com or on our mobile app. You can stay up to date on this developing story by searching Channel3000 News in your app store. To coronavirus head headlines this morning, COVID numbers statewide continue to improve. The latest numbers from the Department of Health Services show the seven-day average of new daily cases is back below 3,000, and the number of positive cases dropping to under 13 percent. But despite dropping numbers, precautions remain. UW Health will soon be requiring all providers, staff, students, and volunteers to get booster shots. About 96 percent of all UW Health staff are already vaccinated. That mandate takes effect May 2nd. Those who don't get a booster dose by then could be terminated. Now we're once again inviting Dr. Ajay Sethi on the show to break down some of those COVID headlines. Dr. Sethi, an associate professor of population health sciences at UW. Thanks again for waking up early, Dr. Sethi. Yeah, good morning, Leah. So I want to start with the future of Dane County's mask mandate. A lot of states making headlines this week announcing that they are ditching theirs from California to New York, New Jersey. What time would be appropriate for Dane County to ditch its mask mandate? Is it too early? Well, uh, maybe a little bit too early right now, but ideally we would see hospitalizations come down a little further. Uh, the healthcare systems are still feeling the pressure of Omicron, uh, even though that's receding, it would be nice to uh, wait a little longer before mass mandates are lifted. Also making headlines this week, the issue of myocarditis. We've talked to doctors on the show about the concern for this heart inflammation uh, it, associated with COVID-19 itself, but there's a new headline that the Moderna vaccine carries a higher risk for it, though of course very rare. What's your take on this? What would you want parents to know? Yeah, getting COVID puts you at greater risk for myocarditis than getting vaccinated. The vaccine's also associated with that side effect. It is rare. Uh, there's maybe a few more cases when somebody receives a Moderna vaccine compared to Pfizer. Uh, and in general, the risk is greater in younger men, uh, younger boys. And now there's also a new report out that the Omicron variant was found in Deer, New York. Does that have any implications for us? Definitely. So last fall, uh, we learned that in Iowa and Ohio and other states, uh, deer were carrying the uh, virus that causes COVID. And now after the Omicron spike, it turns out Omicron can also infect deer, this time in New York and other states. This means that if, if uh, deer can carry this virus, if the virus remains in deer, if that becomes a reservoir, it can adapt, it can evolve, and hopefully uh, does not spill back into humans. Because if it did, it could come back looking very different. Some interesting headlines this week for sure. Dr. Sethi, we really appreciate you providing some good context on these COVID news stories. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.
604 Now, News 3 Now is teaming up with the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund this week to help provide heat for those in need this winter. All day long, we are hosting a telethon to raise money and bring awareness to the issue. You can help with a simple donation and a small one. All we're asking for is 90 cents. You can head on over to channel3000.com to get involved. Then tune in to News 3 Now this afternoon. Our coverage kicks off live on News 3 Now's Live at 4. Chris Reese is here now with your first one weather. Chris, how's it looking out there? Hey, we're tracking a chance for some snow moving into the picture. What we're looking at already is this Alberta Clipper that's starting to move into parts of the High Plains. Otherwise, the actual state of Wisconsin just seeing flurries this morning. It's not going to be until later on tonight that we start to see our chance for some snow moving through. So let's look at the big setup again. Here's the big picture, and this is the system that I really want you to watch. Watch how that starts to dive southward out of the north and west. This is now later on tonight at 10 o'clock. You see that snow hanging out over Wisconsin. A cold front actually pushes through behind that. This allows for falling temperatures throughout the day on Friday. We'll still see temperatures into the mid 30s tomorrow, but they're really going to start to fall as we move towards the afternoon. And I still can't rule out more rain and snow showers as we move towards the afternoon as well. This model really wanting to highlight them being more snow showers hours with the colder air starting to work its way into the picture. Tonight's snow chance, not a big one. We're not seeing a lot, but it could be impactful for a time, especially just with lower visibility and some snow covered roadways at times. No real impact from snow chances other than flurries through the weekend, but then I start to turn my attention to perhaps the next snow chance. That one could move in as we start to move towards the middle of next week. Let's take a moment though to break down tonight because it's what's in the forefront right Right now temperatures will be in the upper 20s this afternoon. We're going to be gray. We're going to see that cloud cover moving in. Here comes that snow. This is seven o'clock. We'll see that overspreading the area 10 o'clock. The back edge is already starting to show up and we're going to see some warmer temperatures on that back edge that might actually lead to a little bit of rain. So this will be good news for uh, helping to melt that snow by the time we get you towards the morning commute tomorrow as temperatures warm up side roads that aren't treated because I don't expect to get enough snow for any plowing. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of slush as you begin to head out the door. Still will also see some wraparound snow showers and flurries as we move into your Friday. How much snow, Chris? Not a lot. Generally about an inch. Some spots may see around two inches, but most of us are going to be hanging out right around the one inch mark when it comes towards any snow today. But our entire team is going to track it all afternoon long. So here's what I want you to do. Take out your phone, open up the camera screen, and if you don't have our app, point your phone at the screen. It'll take you to where you can go to download the first Warren Weather app. I'm here now. I've already posted an update specific to these snow chances on the app. I did that just moments ago. We'll also see updates from Austin Kopnitsky, Dana Fulton, and Gary Canalti as we move through the rest of this afternoon, keeping you completely ahead of the snowmaker as it works its way on in. The next one, though, there's already a first Warren. For next Wednesday into Thursday, that could be the next impactful snow across the upper Midwest. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. The 2022 election is now. Timothy Ramthan, the Kewaskum lawmaker who tried twice to overturn Wisconsin's electoral votes for President Biden, appears to be launching his bid for governor. Ramthan has a big announcement scheduled for Saturday, and a couple hours yesterday, a website popped up for his campaign. The site was taken down sometime last night, but it said Ramthan has My Pillow CEO Mike Lindell's backing. The Rolling Stone also reporting former President Trump will endorse Ramthan. If he is running, he would join former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish and former Senate candidate Kevin Nicholson. Around the state now, there was an active investigation in eastern Wisconsin after a student drowned in a high school swimming pool this week. It happened in the city of Two Rivers. The victim is a 10th grade student. First responders say the student was unresponsive when, re when arriving on scene. The student later died at the hospital. 608 on your Thursday. Coming up, new premium seats for Camp Randall. Will they be done in time for you to enjoy this football season? We're going to check in. And later, Amazon is looking to expand in Kenosha. They'll have more on what they're looking to add after the break. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. New year? 
new shape. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. New confidence. I can see a huge difference. Look at this. New you. I can wear a little black dress. I feel sexy. You deserve to do something for yourself this year. And with Sono Bello, you can remove stubborn body fat permanently in just one visit. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation with Sono Bello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist. And find out how you can get $250 off with our New Year exclusive offer. Sono Bello uses TriSculpt Micro Laser Liposuction to remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently for incredible transformations in just one visit. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Call 1 888 622 8360 or go to sonobello.com. At Pick and Save, we believe fresh is all about standards. That's why we do up to a 27 point inspection on our produce. Like for oranges, we check for color and scarring and more, keeping only the best of the best on our shelves. Because when it comes to fresh for everyone, we believe the juice is worth the squeeze. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. Three days only. Shop the winner bonus sale at Grand Appliance for up to $1,000 in savings you won't find anywhere else. Save on top brands like LG with unbeatable deals like this 4.8 cubic foot top load washer for just $7.98. Or this four-piece stainless steel kitchen package for just $22.22. Shop your local showroom or grandappliance.com. Grand Appliance. You make it home, we make it grand. This is the purpose-built Ford F-150. It's a beast with brains. It, you know what? Skip this video. Go see one at the auto show. It's auto show time. The best time to buy a Ford F-150 with ways to power up this and that. Work smarter. Muscle for most anything. Plus, special auto show offers to help you bring one home today. Order your F-150 during Auto Show to lock in this special flex buy offer. Plus, get an extra 1,000 retail order bonus. Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. A progress check on Camp Randall renovations. Things are on time as premium seating and hospitality clubs are being added to the historic stadium. The main structure should be up by May. Right now, they're mostly just laying bricks, though. A number of years ago, the fan base was surveyed about what they wanted to see in Camp Randall. An outdoor premium seating area was the resounding area answer. It should all be set up by the home opener. That's scheduled for September 3rd. We have very limited, limited outdoor premium spaces in Camp Randall, and this is really going to solve that problem. And it's going to allow uh, our fans to have a premium experience while still kind of being in the bowl and being part of the excitement that makes uh, Camp Randall so special. The renovation will also feature unique indoor club spaces that integrate the facade of the old field house into the space. The NFL Combine has announced its participants for the week-long training session and four Badgers will be in attendance. Jack Sanborn, Jake Ferguson, Leo Chanel and Logan Bruss will head to Lucas Oil Stadium during the first week of March to show off their skills in front of all 32 NFL teams. Very exciting. Well, the Super Bowl isn't just about football, it's also about the commercials. With an estimated audience of more than 100 million, it's the biggest single opportunity for advertisers to try and stand out and build some buzz. Some companies are paying as much as $7 million for a 30-second spot during the big game. Ad Age editor Janine Poggi says the 2022 trend will be lighthearted fun. After the past two years and the fatigue that we've all experienced, brands are really looking to entertain and have a party atmosphere. There will be more than 30 advertisers running spots for the first time in this year's game. The reason we watch, right? Of course, of course. I'm hoping there's a Doritos ad. Those ones are always really, really good. Or the puppy ads. The puppy Anything ads with the puppy. As long as they're not sad, but most of them they are like the Budweiser commercials with the puppies and the horses. Tear jerkers. Oh my gosh, gets me. Look, there you go. There's a horse. It gets oh, me every time. Beautiful, beautiful television. 
Also beautiful television. Chris Reese <laughs> and his first sworn weather. That certified most accurate forecast. Oh, wow. What a segue. <laughs> I'm like going to give you props to that one. We are tracking multiple snow chances as we start to move through the next seven days. It's been a while since I've been able to say that one. That first snow chance arrives tonight. It'll be impactful, but it's still light snow. It's just the overall timing into the evening if you're going to be out and about. We're watching Wednesday, though. Wednesday into Thursday, Friday next week. That's our next chance to really see something perhaps a little bit more substantial around here. Of course, it's just a long way out. So we'll see how that trends. We've seen multiple storm chances this year that all kind of fell apart at the last minute. But we're going to watch it right now. It looks to arrive as a little bit of some rain on to Wednesday. This will be beneficial. Things are dirty out there. There's sand everywhere, salt everywhere. This will wash a lot of that away, clean it up for us. But we'll need it again, perhaps, as things start to transition over to a period of some snow on the back side of that. So both models, our long range models, really begin to show that. Model number two, one of the things that it has that we always have to account for in meteorology is the fact that it's typically a little bit slow. It starts our rain an entire day later, develops a way below pressure that does lead to some snow into Thursday, but then it develops a second one with more snow Friday into Friday night. All things that need to be watched right now, but for now, I'm just going to say it's a first warn. It's a ways out, treat it as a first warn, and we will see how things begin to ultimately play out for us. Several changes are still likely. Several changes are probably still going to happen if I'm being quite frank with you, uh, but it's just one of those things that I'm excited. We haven't had a big snow in a while. I would love to see a decent kind of snow system around here, and we'll see how things begin to play out traffic wise, because of course I'm watching that for you this morning. We are not seeing any big issues showing up on our traffic maps this morning. Of course, if that changes throughout the day, we'll try to let you know. All right, Chris Reese, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. American Family Insurance is raising its minimum hourly wage to 23 bucks an hour. According to the company, this is the second time in the last two years the insurance group has raised its starting wage. It takes effect in July. It's going to benefit more than 2,000 employees. Looking around the state now, Amazon is expanding its Kenosha operations and adding up to 400 jobs. The company plans to lease a 1 million square foot distribution center and begin operating by early next year. It'll be located on its East on east of its original distribution center that opened there in 2013. Just last week, Amazon announced plans to develop a $200 million facility in Cottage Grove that's expected to employ 1,500 people. Coming up on CBS Mornings, co-host Gail King is sitting down with the parents of Bakari Henderson for their first interview before they return to Greece for a retrial in their son's murder case. Bakari was 22 years old when he was murdered during a business trip back in 2017. He was chased down by an angry mob and beat to death following an altercation in a bar. The story drew international attention, but none of the attackers were ever found guilty. Four and a half years later, his parents are still fighting for justice. Is the trial in English? No, the trial is all in Greek. And even though you can't understand what's being said, both of you still feel it's very important for you to be there in person. Yes. Why? Um, just so that they realize that Bakari is loved and um, we are there to support the outcome of this trial. We want to see justice served. You can see more of the interview on CBS Mornings right after News 3 Now this morning. The U.S. Army is going green with the plan to cut down carbon emissions and electrify its fleet of vehicles. The Army is detailing its new strategy to adapt, calling for a 50% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 with an ultimate goal of zero emissions by 2050. As part of that, goals include grading an all-electric, non-tactical or non-combat fleet by 2035 and fully electric tactical vehicles by 2050. When it comes to tactical vehicles, um, we need to work with industry and with academia to develop the technologies we need. The Army is also aiming to reduce emissions from its bases. Officials broke ground on a self-contained energy grid at Fort hunter Leggett in California, and they're expanding renewable energy sources like the solar farm at Fort Stewart in Georgia. And in addition to the Army, other branches of the military also working on their own plans to adapt and address climate change. Several media reports say the Oscars will not require proof of COVID vaccination to attend this year's award ceremony. Instead, they'll suggest you have it while adding stricter testing and mask policies. The Academy Awards will be held March 27th at the Dolby Theater. The Academy has not yet publicly released its pandemic policy for this year's ceremony, and it hasn't commented on these reports. 
Meanwhile, the Critics' Choice Awards and the Screen Actors Guild Awards are both mandating vaccination and negative tests this year. Well, certain drinks go at certain times of the year, and soon it's the Shamrock Shake's time to shine again. McDonald's is bringing back the mint-flavored milkshake on Monday, February 21st. The Oreo Shamrock McFlurry will also be coming back. McDonald's also sharing the so-called secret ingredient that makes the shake green. The chain says the hex code or color ID for the green is on the lower third below. That's for those who want to create some green fan art. This is way above my head, but I do love the shamrock I, shake. I like the Oreo McFlurry. I don't like just the straight Ooh, mint, but with the chocolate combination, okay. I can really get behind it. So I'm okay. a little excited for that one. Hmm. So pretty good. Going to be heading to McDonald's. Put it on my calendar. Sign me up for that, <laughs> that mint Oreo option. That sounds, sounds cool. Sounds pretty good. All right, up next, guys, a bowl with something special that saved its life this week. More on that in just a few minutes. And ahead in our next half hour, new video in the shooting of Quadron Wilson on Madison's east side. What police are saying? Stay with us. Download the Channel 3000 First Born Weather app today. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobison.com to apply. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm David Cohen, the COO of Love Your Teeth. When we did the clinical study and saw that it whitened people's smile seven shades in seven days with only 10-minute applications, we knew we had to share it with the world. Love Your Teeth whitens natural teeth as well as stains on caps and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. And for those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest with love your teeth you can target that area using swab precision i love red wine tea coffee and i typically get stains at like the bottom part of my teeth and it's very obvious this was my smile before i started using love your teeth and then here's my smile now <laughs> I would describe Love Your Teeth as easy to use. I'm so happy with the results. Before I started Love Your Teeth, I took a selfie. So white, so different. If you have yellowing between your teeth or coffee stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And with each 10-minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. I'm Dr. Gold. I've been a dentist for 25 years. When I looked at the clinical study for Love Your Teeth, I was blown away by the results. Love Your Teeth really works. Finally, an at-home teeth whitening product that I can recommend with confidence. With Love Your Teeth, my teeth were looking great. Like, I would just wake up every day like, oh my god, my teeth are getting whiter. It was just amazing for me. I saw a difference every single day. I'm just so confident in the way that my smile looks. In the past, while I was using other teeth whitening products, my teeth became sensitive and that's just uncomfortable. With Love Your Teeth, something that I really loved about it is there was zero sensitivity the entire process. Order Love Your Teeth this Valentine's Day and get 50% off, plus get free shipping. And as an added bonus, get a free Love Your Teeth Go Pen with your order. Visit loveyourteeth.com or call the number on your screen. A must in your medicine cabinet. Less sick days. Cold coming on? Zycam is the number one cold shortening brand. Highly recommended. Zy fans love Zycam's unique zinc formula. It shortens colds. Zycam zinc that cold. Away from your TV? Not a problem. Get breaking news, weather alerts, and political coverage from the award-winning News 3 Now team. Plus, all things Madison. Stay connected anywhere with Channel 3000, Madison's number one digital news source. Cobison Buses, now hiring. My name's Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family, too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. Welcome back. We always ask you to share your morning with us. Melissa sharing hers, just a beautiful sight and something I think we need because Chris Reese is sick <laughs> of no snow. Yep. This lack of snow this winter, it's fine. Is this photo it's not fine. like salt in the wound for you or? Mm, no, uh, you know, it looks kind of recent. Actually, it looks like some of the snow was melted. <laughs> so it's still a beautiful picture. It's a wintry scene. Gorgeous. See, I was gonna At say, least I was our ground isn't completely bare. I, I saw 
a very patchy field on my way here, and I was very excited. So kind of the opposite of you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's melt it all. McKenna, that's ready. the Texas in you talking. Yeah. You're Texas, yeah. too. I don't even want to hear it. I don't know where you came from, but not where I'm from. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> all right, let's shift gears now. <laughs> so, thank you very much for that picture. It certainly got us talking. We appreciate it. 624 now. A diminutive bull named Napoleon has avoided being sent to a German slaughterhouse. I'm so excited to talk about those. All right, check this out. He was born with a congenital with a congenital genetic defect, meaning the little guy's already at full size. Because of this, he was rescued from his farm that usually raises their bulls for meat. Napoleon is among a hundred other animals, and the farm says he's already very fond of the other cattle around him. Is this the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? I bet they're fond of him too. He's so cute. That is a Adorable. He's we a little joke. Size cow. This has to be like roughly the same size as Baskin. Yep. Put a you collar on him. Take him for a walk. Put a collar on him. I love it. Chris Reese, is it a good day to walk your cow? <laughs> It is always a good day to walk the cow, Leah. Always a good day to do. <laughs> good answer, it's gonna buddy. It's going to be colder out there. I, I'll tell you what, if you're walking anything, temperatures are in the 20s after we were into the 30s yesterday. But even headed to the bus stop, we're looking at a dry day for getting to school and getting home from school. Temperatures are going to be hanging out in the 20s. But a little bit later on tonight, yeah, we're going to start to see those snowflakes start to fly. 24 right now, our wind chill coming in at 15. You plan out the day. You see that at seven o'clock. We start to see the snowflake icon showing up. So after your home, we should be good. Maybe your student has an extracurricular, keeps them at school a little bit later. They might have to deal with some snow starting as they begin to head back from that. A minor snow chancer tomorrow as well. Also tracking a chance of some flurries on Sunday, uh, but I'm keeping a real close eye on Wednesday and into Thursday. That could be uh, the next possible alert day. It's been a while since we've actually had one. Uh, a solid, well, I think our last alert day was January 22nd. Wow. So it has been a while since we've had an alert day, but we're going to watch it. All right. Thank you very much, Chris. Stay with us. Another half hour of local news coming up on the other side of the break. Three Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Pick and Save Delivery is always fresh because we check our produce at every stop on its journey to you. We're fresh every day, so shop any way. Pick and Save. Fresh for everyone. Before treating your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, you're not the only one with questions about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start, with about 10 minutes of treatment once every three months. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you, and if a sample is available. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. Plus, right now, you may pay $0 for Botox. Ask your doctor about Botox today. Three days only, shop the winter bonus sale at Grand Appliance for outstanding deals. Like this Frigidaire dishwasher for $4.48. This GE Top Load washer for just $6.48. Or this 28 cubic foot Samsung French door fridge for just $14.98. That's not all. Save up to $1,000 more exclusively at Grand with select purchases of our most popular brands. Don't miss this sale. Grand Appliance, the appliance expert since 1930. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now. 1-800-914-6947.
Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates. Live better, debt-free. We'll even show you how to use your stimulus money to jumpstart our services and get you debt-free faster than you ever thought possible. Call Credit Associates now to see how much you could save for free. Call 1-800-914-6947. Pick and Save, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales for prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Right now, a Wisconsin community finding PFAS contamination in the city's water wells. We are tracking snow chances this morning and when they could arrive. That's coming up. This was an assassination attempt on another young black male in America. And I say America with three Ks. Also, it's been one week since Quentin Rosen was shot. His family continuing to demand answers for what happened. Good morning and welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Ken Alexander. And I'm Leah Linshine. Chris Stanford has the day off. McKenna joining me on the desk this morning. Very happy to be here. Yeah. Very happy to be here with you guys. Moving into our top headline now. It's been one week since Quentin Wilson was shot five times. There is now new video showing the immediate aftermath of the incident that left Wilson in the hospital. This edited video was released by Madison Police. Several undercover trucks you can see here are blocking in a vehicle, a number of officers on scene. Then you see fire and EMS arrive and someone is taken away on a stretcher that's in the corner of your screen right there. Now, Wilson's family is demanding more transparency from law enforcement who, after a week, still haven't named an agency or a person who shot Quadron Wilson. They say Wilson was taken to UW Health for treatment, then moved to the Dane County Jail. His family is claiming he isn't receiving the right care while there. We want my brother back in the UW hospital. As soon as possible. Today. Now, because my brother is in pain, he called my mom in tears. He said they're not changing his pads, they're bloody, we don't want him to get infection. In a statement to News 3 Now, UW Health says patients are only discharged to a place that can meet their needs. The Dane County Sheriff's Office confirming Wilson has since been admitted to the county jail where medical staff are, quote, tending to all of his medical needs. There's still many unanswered questions here, and it seems to be becoming a pattern in several Madison area police shootings. Take a look at this past October when there were three other officer shootings that we still know next to nothing about. While this most recent shooting is being investigated by Dane County, the other three led by the state. On October 23rd, a Dane County deputy shot their gun in Fesky Park after allegedly being stabbed. Then on November 28th, a Madison officer shot their gun at an armed suicidal man who then shot himself. Next, on January 11th, several Madison officers shot a man after they say he jumped off a balcony and shot at them. Now, one thing tying all of these cases together is the DOJ, which is leading the investigations, hasn't told us anything about who the involved officers are. As we wait for more information, specifically about this most recent case, be sure to stay with News 3 Now and Channel3000.com for any updates. New this morning, all six of Wausau City water wells are testing above the state-recommended level of PFAS. The level is higher than the state's future drinking water standard of 20 parts per trillion, though it is still below the National EPA Health Advisory of 70 PPT. City officials say people don't need to immediately stop drinking city water, though they are warning long-term exposure can have negative impacts on health. We're going to work as quickly as we can to make sure that our entire um, system is set up uh, so folks can can feel confident that we're below that 20 parts per trillion. That will take a little bit of time, but it is um, it is accumulation in the body over time. PFAS are widely used man-made chemicals that are long-lasting. A note, boiling water does not remove them. A Madison man charged in a crash that killed a LaFollette High School student has pleaded not guilty during a preliminary appearance in court. Sedarius so Goodall faces one count of hit and run involving death and a one count of hit and run involving great bodily harm for the crash on Schroeder Road on January 15th. During the hearing, an officer testified that a woman originally claimed she had been behind the wheel during the crash. However, her story eventually changed. She was in the back of the very well-lit ambulance and I started talking with her explaining to her that some of the, the items I was seeing and some of the statements being made weren't consistent with her story and then she got very quiet and said he was the one driving. And by he, who was AR referring to? Uh, Mr. Goodall. 
Goodall stood silent, and a plea of not guilty was entered for him. He was bound over for court. Online court records do not show a future court date at this time. All right, let's send it over to Chris Reese now with your certified most accurate forecast. Chris? Tracking a couple systems, getting ready to move through the picture. We had a cold front last night, and that's why we're staying into the 20s today. But here comes that next system. This arrives later on tonight. It'll bring warmer temperatures, but it also will bring a little bit of some snow as well. Another cold front arrives tomorrow. That's going to lead to more snow showers and flurries, and perhaps a couple of raindrops mixed in as well. But it all becomes snow showers tomorrow afternoon and evening. And some of that colder air moves in. This is a snow system that's still light, but it'll have a little bit of an impact for us later on tonight. Then I'm starting to pay attention to the middle of next week. We're going to break down that next chance for what could be an impactful weather maker across parts of the Midwest. That being said, let's focus on the first one. We're going to see clouds out there today. Temperatures warm up into the 20s later on this afternoon and then the 30s overnight tonight. Yes, we are warming up overnight after snow comes through. Let me show you how this is all going to shake out for us. This is 7 o'clock. That snow is starting to move into the picture. Pay attention to our wind direction. It's out of the south. The snow will come down decent at times, but as it moves away, warmer air is coming in behind it as a little bit of a warm front starts to work on through. Because of this, 1 o'clock in the morning, we're talking about plain raindrops. So anything that falls, anything that's accumulated on the roadways, this will help and melt that by the time we get you towards the commute tomorrow. That's why this is not an alert day forecast, even though we're expecting accumulating snow. Still, we'll see our chances for some flurries tomorrow. Temperatures will be dropping. We'll be into the teens by tomorrow evening. We'll go down into the single digits. Overall, Snow amounts are going to be pretty light, generally around an inch in some spots, maybe up to two. Most of us are going to be hanging out right around the one inch mark. After that, colder air moves in for the weekend, but that colder air starts to recirculate as we start to move towards the midpoint of next week. This will set the stage for a storm system to develop in the four corners in the panhandle of Texas and work its way somewhere towards the Ohio Valley or the Great Lakes. The model is showing a chance for rain that goes over to some accumulating snow by the middle of next week. That's why you have a first warn. We really need to watch that system. Of course, you can download the Channel 3000 First Warn Weather app. We will keep you up to date on all of that. But for now, we're focused on snow that's going to move in tonight, a colder weekend, and then we'll watch perhaps some rain to snow next week. All right, Chris Reese breaking it all down for us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. A developing story out of North Minneapolis now. Police are searching for a suspect after a school bus driver was shot. Officers say the driver was shot in the head, although his injury did not appear to be life-threatening. Uh, three kids were on the bus. They were uh, not injured in that shooting. Federal ministers are warning anti-vaccine mandate protests at two key Canada U.S. border crossings have the potential to seriously disrupt the flow of goods in coming days. Earlier this week, protesters blocked the Windsor Ambassador Bridge that connects Canada to Detroit. That bridge is where a quarter of all Canada U.S. trade move, move occurs. It remains closed going into Canada. Trade is absolutely critical to the automotive industry and the broader Canadian economy. So any disruption to trade, and in particular to trade at the Ambassador Bridge, which is Canada's most important border crossing, has a significant impact on the industry and the economy. There is also news that the so-called Freedom Convoy is expanding to the United States with the intention to disrupt the Super Bowl this weekend in L.A. alongside disrupting next month's State of the Union in D.C. U.S. forces are starting to arrive in Poland this morning to help out with the Russia-Ukraine situation. The White House has approved a plan for nearly 2,000 troops to help any Americans who might try to leave Ukraine if Russia invades. Officials say U.S. forces are not currently authorized to enter Ukraine itself. Meanwhile, Russia continues to add forces to the border near Ukraine. The U.S. estimates more than 100,000 troops are now stationed there. Even with the cold temperatures headed our way, people are already thinking about the upcoming camping season. Tony Langfellow explains what Northwood's campgrounds and stores are already seeing. Well, it's hard to think of camping when there's snow on the ground, but it's looking really well. Snow may still be on the ground, but the countdown to summer is on. Marathon County campgrounds so far have over 900 reservations for the 2022 season. Having um, people already excited about camping and coming into our parks to do, you know, a variety of different activities that they can do while they're there is, is really exciting. Jamie Polly is the Parks and Rec Director for Marathon County. 
She says people can now reserve a spot up to 365 days in advance. And with so many already eyeing up the campgrounds, you might not want to wait until the last minute. Now, as it gets towards that spring break, we'll really see people start to look at their summer season um, and the reservation should be coming in. Polly says they saw a 36% spike of new campers in 2020 and again in 2021. While campgrounds are already being booked out for the summer, places like King's Campers are trying to catch up on inventory while they're seeing these homes away from home fly off the lot. The camping season is looking great. King's Campers sales manager John Gajewski says last year they were stretching thin on merchandise, but this year they've climbed back up. There's still a little bit of supply chain issues and everything, but we're getting back to the point where we have good stock for you. King's Campers attended the RV and camping show in Green Bay last month. Gajewski says they saw a lot of new and familiar faces. The pandemic has helped people recognize camping's value and versatility. It seems like people are really looking forward to another year of being outside and kind of trying to put the pandemic behind us a little bit. Marathon at County Campgrounds are open from May 1st until October 31st. 640 now on your Thursday. Let's take a live look outside. Some colder temperatures on the way for your weekend. Potentially a big snowmaker on the way next week. Chris Reese is giving us the first warn in his certified most accurate forecast. And the heartwarming update on a special teddy bear at the Milwaukee Airport. We'll be right back. At Furniture and Appliance Mart's President's Day sale, save big on top brands. Millions of dollars worth of inventory in stock and ready to go. All with no interest financing for 18 months. No one in Wisconsin has appliance offers like these. Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley Home Store off the Beltline in East Springs Drive. Govin Cars is having a huge winter sale with the largest selection of vehicles under $15,995 or $249 per month. That's right. Don't miss out on our winter sale with the best selection of SUVs, cars, or vans under $15,995 or $249 per month. We have one of the largest selections of vehicles in Dane County with over 500 vehicles in stock. So just come on in and ask for me, Crystal the Pistol, Govin. Go to Govin Cars East or West. You gotta go to Govin. GovinCars.com Kyle Bush, welcome to Menards. What can I help you with today? Well, I've got my shopping list right here. I need some green treated lumber. I need a brown Mastercraft door. I need red Clearview cabinets and some blue Dutch Boy paint. Those are M&Ms. And? At Menards, we carry the world's best selection of home improvement products to help you complete your next project. We've got more of these, right? It's all gonna fit in your car? I got a trunk. Save big money at Menards. There's a different way to treat HIV. It's once monthly injectable Cabanuva. Cabanuva is the only once a month complete HIV treatment for adults who are undetectable. Cabanuva helps keep me undetectable. It's two injections given by my health care provider once a month. HIV pills aren't on my mind. I love being able to pick up and go. Don't receive Cabanuva if you're allergic to its ingredients or taking certain medicines which may interact with Cabanuva. Serious side effects include allergic reactions, post-injection reactions, liver problems, and depression. If you have a rash and other allergic reaction symptoms, stop Cabanuva and get medical help right away. Tell your doctor if you have liver problems or mental health concerns, and if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or considering pregnancy. Some of the most common side effects include injection site reactions, fever, and tiredness. If you switch to Cabanuva, attend all treatments appointments. With once a month Cabanuva, I'm good to go. Ask your doctor about once monthly Cabanuva. Get our very best deals of the season, including door busters up to 65% off. Plus, take bonus holiday discounts off our sale prices in-store and online. And interest-free financing for five years. The biggest President's Day sale in Wisconsin starts now at Ashley. U.S. ad spending is set to surpass $300 billion by 2022, and the greater Madison area is poised for major growth. So now would be a great time to consider a career in multimedia sales and to join our team selling our top-rated media and digital solutions. Work for a company that offers training, autonomy, flexibility, income growth, upward mobility, and work-life balance with a competitive wage. If you have a passion to drive results for local businesses, then visit morganmurphymedia.com right now to apply. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. 
Welcome back. Some good news. Dolly Parton's Dollywood is offering free tuition to its employees. The theme park and resort company says it will cover 100% of tuition fees and books for all of its full-time, seasonal, and part-time workers. This starts February 24th, so a couple of weeks away here. Employees are eligible to enroll in the program on their first day of employment. Oh, the story gets better every time I say it. It's finally time for the most anticipated sporting event of the year. This weekend, the Puppy Bowl is returning for its 19th year. This year's show will feature a record 103 puppies with 51 shelters participating from 23 states. At the end of each break, puppies currently available for adoption will be shown during the program. Early reports are showing you got to look out for Chorizo and you got to look out for Birch. They're tiny, but they pack a huge punch. Team Rough takes on Team Fluff during the three-hour special. You can stream the game on Discovery Plus and on air on the U.S. Network Animal Planet. Record number of puppies, still not enough, though. Team Rough versus Team Fluff. It's pretty fun. Real athletes. Yeah, those are the teams I'm rooting for. True competitors. Sorry, Packers. It's all about Team Fluff now. Quarter to seven. We have an update to a story we ran yesterday out of Milwaukee. Also really cute. The owner of a special teddy bear left at Milwaukee Mitchell International Airport has been found. The airport shared these photos of the teddy bear hoping to find its rightful owner. And the social media post gained national attention. We have found the owner. This particular bear, by the way, is special because it's given to children who are born with congenital heart defects. Now, Mitchell International is working out the details for a reunion. Isn't this heartwarming? It looks like the bear had a very fun stay at the airport, but I'm sure, sure the bear is very excited to be reunited with an owner. A little vacation. It's like Home Alone teddy bear version. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I love the fact that they take these little stuffed animals and they send them all over and take all these pictures. It's so yeah. sweet. And then sometimes I'll even write a little letter and it's like, to my owner, here's the adventure um, I had while I was waiting for you to come back or something like who that. Who is the employee on bear duty? That's a great gig. <laughs> that I is. Yeah. That, I bet they do have a dedicated person <laughs> to figure this out. All right, quarter to seven, time to turn it over to Chris Reese with your certified right. most accurate forecast. Hey, Chris. It's cold, but it's not unbearable this morning, just like that joke was. We are, look <laughs> <God>. <laughs> we are looking at wind chills into the teen source as we begin to head out the door. The temperatures are really hanging out into the 20 source. We're at 24. Yes, it's a cloudier day. We're going to be watching that chance of snow moving into the picture as we start to move towards your afternoon and evening. So that being said, you look ahead, 10 o'clock, we might actually lose a couple degrees, be down into the lower 20s, but we're back at 24 by the time we get you towards lunch. And ultimately, I do expect those temperatures topping out right around 29 or so as we start to move towards the afternoon. Our snow chance today actually ushers in some colder air for the weekend. That colder air for the weekend then recirculates as we start to move towards parts early next week, and that will set the stage for an area of low pressure to move potentially towards the Ohio Valley or Great Lakes. It is something to watch and of course i will let you know how that evolves over the next several days yeah we know you're going to continue to track it we appreciate oh, yes, it yes i will thank you chris all right this is black history month the time to celebrate the achievements of black americans but also to examine the struggles one area that tears at the nation is economic inequality elise preston introduces us to a businesswoman who took matters into her own hands Gwen Jameer started her hair care company from her Detroit kitchen with a leap of faith. Newly divorced, a single mother with just $32 in the bank, she saw a hole in the market and decided to fill it. Naturalicious basically is a line dedicated to creating time-saving beauty solutions for busy women. She launched Naturalicious in 2013, now with 11 employees and a 5,000 square foot warehouse. Her products sell at major retailers, including Whole Foods, Sally Beauty, and Ulta.com. I'm so proud that I just had the tenacity to just keep going, despite only having $32 and trying to figure out how in the world do I pay my bills. Economists believe what Jameer has achieved could be a key to addressing economic inequality in the U.S. We're kind of the richest economy per capita in the world, and, and we still have these huge levels of inequality where a lot of people are extremely poor. Well, that, that's just not acceptable. Robert Fairley is a professor at UC Santa Cruz. His research shows there are more than 15 million active business owners in the U.S., but fewer than one and a half million are black. Economists say entrepreneurship is critical in creating wealth and supporting communities. It reduces unemployment locally, 
um, often in minority communities, and that's extremely important. Jameer is now helping her community while also creating financial security for 11-year-old Kaden. In the back of my mind, I always knew like, okay, when he turns 5, 10, 20, 35, 50 years old, I want him to have this story, and I want that to be an example for him. A role model for her son and for future entrepreneurs. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. Research shows that after plunging early on in the pandemic, black-owned businesses have had the strongest rebound. All right, coming up in the morning sprint, the National Archives is asking for help in tracking down official White House documents. But first, if you have a little kid turning three soon, we would love to celebrate with them here on News 3 Now this morning. Be sure to send in their picture, and we can show it right here on the program. Thanks for watching. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Hey everybody, it's me, Tracy Turnblad, from Hairspray. Broadway's Tony Award winning best musical is back. Don't miss Hairspray. At Overture, February 22nd through 27th. Tickets at Overture.org. I'm Rebecca, and you might know me from reality TV. And this was my stubborn body fat that I just couldn't get rid of. But then I went to Sonobello and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. It is so intensely gratifying for one visit to make this big of a change. It's amazing. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. It feels incredible to look down and it's flat. Thank you again, Sonobello. I'm so happy. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-595-1532 or go to Sonobello.com. Deep in credit card debt? Did you know credit associates can help you reduce that debt? It's not nearly as complicated as you think. Let me show you what I mean. First, there's the total amount of credit card debt you owe. Whoa! We can reduce that by almost half. Second, how about those decades you'll be in debt? We reduce that down to as little as 24 to 36 months, giving you up to 20 debt-free years back. Lastly, how about the endless hours of stress and anxiety from being in debt? We can help reduce that too. It's easy to get started. Call now to see how credit associates can reduce your debt and save you thousands. The information is free and there's no risk to call. 1-800-949-3849. Call credit associates now to start living better, debt free. 1-800-949-3849. Nothing beats a great night's sleep on a new mattress from Steinhoffels. During our President's Day sale, save up to $500 on Tempur-Pedic adjustable base sets, including our Temper Ergo Smart Base that automatically adjusts while you sleep to help reduce snoring. Right now, save up to $300 on Tempur-Pedic mattresses. Queens start at $22.99, and you get $300 in Steinhoffels cash. With Steinhoffels special financing, your new mattress has never been more affordable. Relax, it's Steinhoffels. Hey everybody, it's me, Tracy Turnblad, from Hairspray, Broadway's Tony Award winning best musical, and we're dancing our way to your city. Don't miss Hairspray. At Overture, February 22nd through 27th. Tickets at Overture.org. Here for you in a heartbeat, SSM Health Heart and Vascular Care. It's 6.52 now, time for the morning sprint. It has been one week since Quadrin Wilson was shot on Madison's east side. New edited street camera footage released by Madison police shows the scene of the incident after he was shot. It shows Wilson's car trapped between two unmarked law enforcement vehicles and then Wilson there in the corner being carried away on a stretcher. The Dane County Sheriff's Office is investigating. It has not said why they were attempting an arrest, who shot Wilson, or whether he was armed. 
The Wisconsin Department of Health is asking people to check their lettuce as part of a recall on dull packaged salads. The DHS is investigating a multi-state outbreak of listeria infections linked to the products. 17 people in 13 states have been infected and two people have died, including one from Wisconsin. All recalled packaged salads were produced by Dole and sold under multiple brands. We have these specific details on channel3000.com. Members of the 115th Finer Wing in Madison getting recognized for their work. This weekend, the Finer Wing held its annual award ceremony at Truex Field. Military members and civilians alike were acknowledged for unit and state awards they'd earned throughout the year. The women and men of the 115th who deployed during the past year were also highlighted during the ceremony. Today, News 3 Now is partnering with the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund to help keep the heat and power on for our most vulnerable community members. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund is a statewide nonprofit that helps people who can't afford to pay their energy bills. Tomorrow, we'll be working with volunteers to help raise donations for the fund as part of a day of warmth. From 4 o'clock to 6.30, volunteers will be here and ready to take your donations to help our community members stay warm during our Wisconsin winters. You can also donate right now by heading to kwwf.org slash donate. So tune tonight to help give us, to help us give the gift of warmth. CBS News has learned the National Archives is asking the Department of Justice to investigate former President Trump's handling of official White House documents. The news comes days after learning officials were forced to retrieve materials from Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence that were improperly taken. The nature of the investigation still unclear. CBS Mornings will have more at 7. Members of Madison's Urban Design Commission are voicing some concerns over a proposal to demolish three buildings on State Street. Property owner J.D. McCormick presented their plan for the building during a meeting with the commission last night. They hope to put up a two-story restaurant with roughly 20 studio and one-bedroom apartments above. We have more on last night's meeting up on channel3000.com. Camp Randall is inching closer to completing a major renovation. UW Madison will now have new premium seating and hospitality clubs for fans in the south end zone. The weather has been cooperating and construction is staying on track, with officials saying they're excited for what's to come. UW expects the main structure to be up by May before finishing touches. It should be fully completed just in time for football season, which kicks off against Illinois State on September 3rd. The Milwaukee Brewers are suing a wing sauce company for not paying them sponsorship fees. According to the lawsuit, the two businesses had a contract together for the last three seasons. Under that contract, the Wyoming Sauce Company is required to pay the Brewers several installments of $100,000 at the start of each season. The lawsuit claims the sauce company failed to pay the last two installations. Canadian truckers protesting vaccine mandates are causing temporary production disruptions at some plants for Detroit's big three automakers, primarily in Canada. Ford Motor officials have warned the protest could have widespread implications for the North American auto industry. CBS Mornings has more on the situation coming up next. And a growing number of states are shedding mask mandates. Now, the latest COVID-19 wave appears to be declining across the nation. California and New Jersey have already made moves, with Nevada expected to follow suit later today. So far, CDC not revising its guidance, saying hospitalization and death rates remain too high. We do still have cloud cover on the increase today. Temperatures are going to be warming up to 27 this afternoon. Snow starts to arrive for the evening, and that will end as a mix and some rain. Snow amounts are generally going to be light, right around an inch, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, just depending on where you are. Additional snow chances arrive by the middle of next week. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us, folks. Have a great Thursday. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.